Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Monday's a rewards day, right? Foot Champions rewards are paid out on Mondays, but today I'm expecting another type of rewards in FIFA 23, and that is the Future Star Swap Rewards. It's been a week since we started getting these tokens, and I think it's about time that we get these available as the SBCs in-game to turn in our hard-earned tokens for. So I want to take a look at that and how that might be the biggest piece of content we get today, and of course, take a look at how it could impact the market and how the market moved yesterday with the 87-plus base or FIFA World Cup Hero Player Pick, the Theo Walcott SBC, and of course, what else to expect today in terms of content on a Monday which might be kind of quiet, but that could also help us make some more coins with some market fluctuations on many different levels of this market where a lot of prices were fluctuating again yesterday with the future stars. These cars, I'm telling you guys, are so good to trade with. They move so much every single day. I think that's going to continue into today. So we'll talk about a lot of things today. If you're excited for these rewards, hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's start by talking about future star swap rewards hopefully being available today because again, it is not confirmed that they will be dropping today. It's, today is just the day that it's been assumed that they will be dropping. And I think there's been some confirmation maybe on like the EA forums, but nothing made public by EA. All we know is the start date, which was a week ago to this day, and also the end date, February 17th, and that we're getting 30 swap tokens. So again, it would make sense for these rewards to drop today because we've been getting tokens now for a week and we are up to 15 total tokens. If you guys did not see, yesterday's token was in an SBC, the Future Stars Challenge number three. And this website, again, I'll put this link down below in the description if you want to catch up and see where you're at uh, on the swaps grind. One SBC is expiring today. So 15 tokens have been released so far, which is half. And we have, of course, a lot of rewards that are 15 tokens tokens and below. So wherever you're at and whatever you have decided is the best option to take from your rewards. I mean, hey, a lot of us are probably going to be opening that Future Stars Team 1 pack today, or maybe you're going to open an 84 times 20 if you're trying to get SBCs done. There are so many options um, with what you could be redeeming today. Basically, all but three rewards, right? Mid George Best, the double 8510, and the Prime Icon Player Pick are all above 15 tokens. Everything else is below that. Now, one note about the 84 times 20 EA's website has the 84 times 20 listed as a 10 token option. This graphic in the game does not show that. So that's the one discrepancy with all of this and the rewards is. If that is actually not a reward today, but it's on their website, we're going to have an issue and we'll be probably talking to EA about that, hopefully, or at least getting com some communication. But I expect there to be no issues with this and they'll drop all the rewards in the game today. So if you got your swap tokens or if you haven't done an SBC or two, uh, like me, I haven't even done the first one. I need to get this done before it goes away because today we might be able to turn those in and of course one of the most popular options from this set is that three token future stars team one pack where of course with the mini release now in the game with Cherokee uh what is it Vandevin and um the other I forget the last guy oh Sunset that was the mini release yesterday but of course Cherokee being added in now to this player pool of team one players a lot of people I would imagine would want to open this up uh today and I think personally I would want to go after uh, this as well, right? I mean, you have the opportunity to pack some really, really good cards. Now, there's a lot of what you would maybe call fodder cards as a part of this as well. So you just have to be careful, and it is a gamble. I don't expect the pack weight on this three-token Future Stars Team 1 pack to be very good. And with that being the case, I don't expect a lot of prices on the market for Future Stars players to really be impacted that much. Maybe some of your lower tier cards, and when I say lower tier, I'm talking about guys that are in that that cheaper range. Maybe uh, like Gehi, Elanga, Kudus, uh, the guys that are under 100,000 coins, maybe even like Kalulu, right? These guys could be the ones that are impacted the most today by this SBC drop because, of course, people will be packing those lower tier cards more often and uh, they might go and sell the tradable one that they have uh, because they got an untradable one. So that's something I'd watch out for today on this game with that piece of content or those rewards dropping into this game today. Of course, I'm probably going to go for that three token Future Stars Team 1 pack because why wait, right? Open the pack and then when there's SBCs that I really want to get done or when there's cards in the game that I really feel like I want to open the packs for, which there kind of are some SBCs I'm personally still working through. I have not finished the Sergio Ramos. I'm three out of four. I have not finished, well, Kaká is just the bronze squad left. But Sergio Ramos has got how many days left? 14 days. I might wait uh, on, on claiming my 84 times 
10 or 20, and then maybe an 85 times 10. I might wait for more tokens because the rest of these tokens are going to be released in the next week and a half anyways. So I think I'm going to wait on that, but maybe open my Future Stars Team 1 pack today. But whatever you're going for, whatever your best option is that you've decided you're going to go for, watch out for those rewards today on this game. Now, besides that, what else could we get? Well, Mondays are upgrade pack days, right? That goes without saying. And I just got one thing to say. EA, drop us a player pick today, okay? We had the 75 plus player picks during Team of the Year. We also had the 78 plus times three. I was a big fan of the... Um, I was a big fan of the 75 plus player pick. I think a lot of people were as I pick up uh, an Adiemi who is down so much right now that I can't resist. Uh, I would love a player pick SBC today. I really would. Hopefully EA uh, listened to that. And I think a lot of us really enjoyed the player picks earlier on during team of the year as well. So I really hope that we see a player pick return today. And I would love an opportunity to, to pack some of these future stars. I probably wouldn't go all out with upgrades. Um, you know, there are some really nice guys that are in this team. The one that would really fit my team the best would be Mudrick. But I know a lot of you guys would just love an opportunity to pack some of these cards. So maybe go out, stock your clubs with some, some common golds, maybe a couple rare golds as well. They're a lot cheaper than what they were during team of the year, right? They should be back down to just about this card or pretty close, at least on bid for a lot of them. And that could be an opportunity uh, where you stock your club and have a chance at least at packing some of these guys for your team today, right? We do expect upgrade packs because it is a Monday. Now, other than that, I mean, maybe we get one of those Future Star Academy players again today. We've only had one so far. Um, Lind Jesper Lindstrom, right? That was his name. So, you know, Anthony Gordon that we saw, really no news on that. Hopefully that drops pretty soon. They have to start releasing those. If we're going to get five of those, they got to catch up. So hopefully EA do drop one of those. And then the only other thing I would maybe expect today would be some more news on this and EA did this last year. I kind of forgot about this if I'm being completely honest. EA did this last year and in the previous years of Future Stars as well. They drop these kind of like cryptic tweets and say, hey, you guys get to choose what stat is getting boosted or what like player is going to get into the Future Stars promo as an SBC. So they set up a poll or vote and they said, pace or dribbling help us determine one upgrade for the player's upcoming Future Stars SBC, which technically based on the outcome of this vote this sbc could be today as well because the vote ends in two hours which i'm also laughing inside because 1.3 million views on twitter this only has less than a hundred thousand votes so uh not a very good voter turnout there for ea sports's twitter but anyways obviously pace is winning uh i voted pace just to see what the percentages was 65 percent so i don't know if this sbc is coming today but since the vote ends here soon um maybe they will kind of put another poll out because when they've done this before they do two tweets with two polls so just keep an eye on ea's twitter because they're probably going to release some more information on who might be our sbc player soon or maybe even as early today we'll have to watch out for that but in sbc's yesterday we got a player sbc and an icon or not an icon a hero player pick i said in yesterday's video that we had not seen a player pick in a while and of course that's what ea dropped but unfortunately they drop a base included world cup uh, or a hero player pick base or a world cup and i was really hoping for just the the world cup version not the base because we're kind of tired of the base icons besides janola maybe cordoba di natale marquisa there's like literally just you can count on one or two hands maybe like one and a half right like seven of these guys that you would really really want as the base version yaga toure would be in there as well of course but you know the world cup ones are where it's at so unfortunately we did not get a world cup only player pick and the price of this is i think a bit steep because of that, 260,000 coins, you can tell by the upvote, downvote that some people are not very happy. I'm not going to be doing this SBC. I don't think it's worth the gamble. Maybe if you have 84 times 20 fodder, or 85 times 10 fodder that you get from the rewards today, maybe you go out and do that um, and, and take your gamble and go for it there. But this is back to the world of gamble SBCs that we're not doing because we are not opening a ton of upgrade packs during team of the year. Or, you know, if especially if it's going to cost you a lot of coins, you know, you could get like base Nakata out of this and really not be happy. So that's why I think that is a very, a very overpriced gamble for especially some outdated players that could potentially be in it. But of course, these sometimes hit and you sometimes hit a Lucio or hit a World Cup Yaya Toure and it's big time worth it for you. Now, also yesterday, because of that, we had the fodder market moving. I think the index 84 and 84 cards yesterday moved 
the most. 86s, 85s moved pretty well as well, but I think 84s did the best. If we take a look at 84 rated cards, they were, of course, below 5,000 coins yesterday. They were like, what, 4.2 to 4.3K? A lot of these guys were selling after the SBC was released at about five and a half, some of them at 6,000 coins for the 84s. I think the 84s were your best quick return on investment just for how much they went up uh, compared to their price. 86s did pretty well too. I mean, they were yesterday like what, 16K right around there. And they went up to about 21, 22,000 coins. So there were some good returns on 86s. Even 87s went up a little bit. Now the question with fodder is if you bought it and you didn't sell it yesterday during the spike, I always advise like, when we talk about fodder selling in the spike of a new SBC being released, especially if it's a gamble pack like the one we had yesterday, is usually the play. Now, are there going to be more SBCs later on this week that would make fodder continue to go up? Well, last year as a part of Future Stars, we had a Future Stars like pack that was like a reunion pack um and also another player pick that they added it was like a choice between you know it was kind of like how the player pick is in the swaps rewards program right you've got the last three promos uh, excluding team of the year for that 15 token player pick right centurions winter wild cards or future stars and they did a pack like that last year and they also did like that reunion pack where it was players that had had future stars in the past uh, it was like a player pick between those guys. So I don't know if any of that is coming later on this week. That is great content that I hope is released because it's just flat out fun content, to be honest. So if you have fodder and you didn't sell it yet, I wouldn't sell it right now. I would wait for maybe today on Monday if a surprise SBC drops or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We have a couple more days where content like that could absolutely take place. So if you still have the fodder, you know, the supply is ending, right? The lightning rounds for these types of promos usually end on Sundays. We do have a little bit of rewards today. Today. I shouldn't expect to see too much supply throughout the rest of this week unless EA drop a couple more of these SBCs with like big packs, which normally doesn't happen either. So I would say if you have the fodder still and you didn't sell it yesterday, maybe hold on a little bit more, especially on the 84 to 86 rated range with this demand potentially going up a little bit more this week. And like I said, if you get an 8420 today, maybe that's more people going out and doing that 87 plus player pick SBC that could make fodder go up a little bit more as well. So that's kind of the fodder situation right there. Holding on to the cards, in my opinion, is the best way to go if you didn't sell already. And then the Tail Walcott SBC, which, I mean, to be honest, it's cool. And that's what this SBC is. And I think that's why it's getting completed by a lot of people. I would even consider doing this SBC just because of the fact that it's cool. And another reason to do the SBC is 99 pace. And I think that's why it's also getting completed a lot. 99 pace with pretty solid dribbling, good enough shooting. Um, and it's only coming in at about 100 and what, 60,000 coins, 150K. So it's a cool flashback card, uh, but that's more, that kind of just fits the, the aura of this promo, right? It's cool. Maybe not the most meta card, the most usable card, and definitely not the cheapest SBC ever. 161,000 coins though, little bit of prem tax in there, a little bit of nostalgia tax as well. I don't think that's a terrible price. I think it's just a little bit too much. But of course, you had a lot of, Premier League, uh, right wings, right mids, and also some strikers drop yesterday, like this Bukayo Saka, who was up a lot because of the Fabio Vieira. Take a look at his graph yesterday. Boom, 300,000 coins all the way down to 260, where he is now, as a lot of people are selling a card like this to go get the Walcott SBC. Uh, same thing happened with Harry Kane. Since the Walcott has a, wow, that just exploded. He was 320,000 coins about 15 minutes ago when I bought three of them. But he was down about, um, he was 340 earlier in the day yesterday. And yeah, he was 340, went down to like 320 just because I think the tail wall, the Walcott has the uh, striker position change in there as well. But I feel like most people are wanting to play this as a super sub or as a wing player. So I'm, I'm going to probably do this card with some duplicate if we get upgrade packs this week because I'll do some of those but that's more of a fun SBC um, that you know kind of fits a lot of Premier League SBCs recently so I think that slots right into people's teams as well if they're using updated cards in this game the Alanga card dropped off a lot because that wall caught to right mid as well so a bit expensive but 99 pace is kind of cool and the nostalgia tax there is nice um or just not the tax but just having a player like walcott get a, a usable special card in this game is uh nice as well especially for his fans 
or if you've watched him before in his career. So that's kind of what's going on there. Now let's talk market with the Future Stars cards. You saw me buying those Adiemis. I talked about the Harry Canes. A lot of these guys have been fluctuating again, and I'm glad that I bought the Adiemi at 340 because it looks like he's rebounding back up. These guys, I'm telling you, just fluctuate so much. They are easy money, and we talked about it yesterday. I bought this Mudrick at 1.2 mil last night, sold it at 135. I bought Adiemi at 400 last night, sold him at 470, and now I'm buying him at 340. That's a huge fluctuation in a one-day time frame. If I could go grab another one with the rest of my coins, I probably would. I bought a Cherokee yesterday at 561, sold it at 660. I still have a Mudrick. I have the Canes that I was mentioning as well. So I still have some cards in here. Um, just flipping because the market is very alive and very healthy at the moment as a lot of prices are, are fluctuating around and moving a lot because people have coins and they're still building teams and they're still trying cards out. But specifically these future stars, I think have another opportunity to go up today as people get their weekend league rewards. We talk about this often. Mondays are days where we usually see the market rise uh, with the weekend league rewards getting paid out. People usually buy some teams to start the week off right, I guess. I don't know what the, the thought process is, but anytime we get rewards, the market usually moves. That's the real uh, catalyst of the situation. But, you know, I'm keeping an eye on a lot of these cards. Like the Adi Emi is down so much from yesterday. Vitinha is down a lot. Gavardio, I think, is one who's actually made maintain his price pretty well, but I feel like that could also mean he's due for another rise today as people go out and maybe buy some cards to build teams with his demand being where it is. Alvarez and Mudrick are so much cheaper from where they were uh, on the weekend, you know, just a couple days, like on Saturday, right? Uh, Alvarez was 2.2 mil, and now we're looking at his card, and he's 1.3, 1.4. Like, he was 1.6, 1.7 yesterday, so I do expect to see some of these guys bounce up a little bit as people get their rewards today, want to go out and try some cards, and I feel like the rest of the market is still going to do well. I don't think we can expect a market crash right now or, or even anytime like really, really soon yet in this game because there's no catalyst. I know the market's very high, um, and I know, I know these team of the year prices are still very high. Some of them have come down just a little bit. Just depends on the card. But a lot of prices are just very high everywhere. And I really think that has to do with just the way the market is post team of the year. And there hasn't been a big enough catalyst yet. One uh, hero player pick SBC is not going to cause a huge market crash. Um, you know, one addition of a, of a mini release with guys in packs like Cherokee is not going to cause a market crash, a one tail wall cut. Like it's going to have to be something pretty big, like maybe some more of those future star content type SBCs that could hurt the market later on this week. If we get multiple of those and they're like repeatable multiple times, but you know, it's going to take something along those lines to have any real big market impact, which is why I still feel pretty confident in the market today. And even throughout the rest of this week, I think it's going to be an absolutely great time to trade and to make coins with the meta market because people are just they have a lot of coins right now and they're they're enjoying their opportunity to spend these coins on cards and try players out. Um, I, I do want to look at this Lacazette. Lacazette yesterday was of course very inflated for the Cherokee. Uh, Cherokee came out very expensive. 300,000 coins went down to 264 went back up a little bit right now he's still in the 260 so that kind of stuff I had to look out for too you could also look at that Lacazette and say that maybe his price dropped a little bit because again striker Walcott being released as well but you know the Cherokee card we can take a look at him for a second here as I'm still trying to snipe out of Yemi but I, I think this Cherokee card is very underwhelming and I think I was interested in holding him or maybe trying to flip him into today. But if his price goes any higher, I, I just think this is like the, I don't know. I know he's five star, five star. He's got great shot power, great dribbling, 85 composure, 80 reactions. Again, we point that out for a card like this in this promo. Very common with the low reactions and composure. But this card to me just looks not worthy of 500,000 coins. But it's got the hype. It's a brand new future star. So I understand why the price is where it is. And I understand why people want to try out a brand new card like this. But a lot of people look at, have been comparing him to like Gold Neymar or uh, a couple other comparisons I saw on Twitter. Like, this guy is nothing super special. It's just, again, a, a continuation of this Future Stars promo where we get a lot of cool cards that are not the most cost efficient or like, I guess, incredible value for the coins, but they're just cool because different players and guys that you haven't seen get either any or many special cards at all yet this year on this game. So we're going to try to make some coins on this Adiemi. I think this is going to be a really, really good day for the market. And I think it's going to be a good time to hopefully get some upgrade packs going as well. I would like to, at least to give myself a shot uh, at packing Adiemi or Gavi or any of these cards in the Future Stars promo, but we will have to see 
what EA Sports has for us today as we specifically look towards these Future Star Swap rewards in this game today to get our, uh, kind of just get our swaps in motion because we've been collecting, collecting, collecting. Now we're ready to turn it in. We are ready to get the rewards for what we have been grinding. And I have to do some more grinding. I do some more SBCs. I got to do some more objectives. So I'm kind of behind on this, but that's kind of all of the news for today. I don't really expect any surprises. The, the market could actually rise even further after the content drop today if uh, content's really not that great. If all we get is uh, a couple of uh, maybe an upgrade pack SBC and these swap rewards, there might be a little bit of prices dipping at content with just this uh, being released. Probably not even that much, but then after that, we can see some stuff go up if it's a quiet day. So I'm going to be on stream talking about all that today, watching the market because we are back in market mode. We opened a ton of packs during Team of the Year, spent a lot of coins. We are down on coins, but we're making it back. And, um, you know, we're still going to have fun and do SBCs and have fun with promos and stuff. But Team of the Year is gone now. So it's kind of back to like we got to pick our clubs back up from the, the, the mud that we have put them in after Team of the Year uh, has passed. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.